Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be checking out this really cool gas station um, thing, which add, it's a Y map, so it is type technically modifying the map of GTA, um, but it adds gas pumps to every single one of the police stations and fire stations around the map, which is something a few people have asked me about over the years, is how do I get it so if I have like a field script, there's gas stations at the police station, because realistically that's where they would fill up. Um, and this is this is exactly what you're gonna do. Um, so this is all good. It's good to go All you have to do is drag and drop it. So we're gonna go over how to install it and you can see down here um, There's gas stations right next to every single one of the stations and it does work with FR fuel Which is absolutely amazing. So it's all pre-built in there. You're good to go It has a list of the cords if you want to add it in yourself or if you want to modify it or anything you can do that um, So yeah, let's get started So in order to download it You're just gonna click the download button and it will download the station pumps zip open this up with WinZip or whatever you used to open up and in here you can see there's a few things there's a readme file which says readme please this is something you could always read because it just says where they it's installed um and you can see the coordinates are configured to use with um the five fr fuel script um so if you want to use that use that um there is a bunch of cool things in here so you also got the gas station cords so these are the cords for uh you to paste into your fr fuel config if you use it so there you go all set up for you right there and then you actually have the resource which is the gas pumps and in order to install this we're just going to go into our resources folder the server dash data folder um for the server dash data resources and then we're just going to go ahead and drag in the gas pumps um folder in here you can right click and rename and just copy this name or you can remember exactly how you want to do it or whatever your folder's name Go back to your uh, server.cfg file, edit it with notepad or notepad++, and then all the way at the top here, you're going to add ensure the name there, and in my case, it's gas pumps save. We're going to start our server. We're going to see if it's started up. You can close these folders now in the background because they're no longer needed. Um, as long as you're looking at your console and it says started resource, that folder name, which is gas pumps in our case, um, we know we are good to go. We can hop in game and see if they have spawned correctly in the correct places. So we're just going to wait for this to start up here. Started resource gas pumps. So we know we are good to go. So I'm going to launch five in. Let's hop in game and see what it looks like. All right, so we have hopped in game here and you can see we are in our server in Sandy Shores. So in order to see if this worked properly, I'm only gonna check the stations in Sandy Shores so we can make sure, but um, you obviously can check every station if you want. But if we go right here on the side, we should be able to see a fuel pump, um, which is somewhere should be around here. There we go, right there. So we know that has uh, loaded in correctly. Now, if we go to the police station, we should see pretty much the same thing over there. Um, and this will be around the map at the different police stations and fire stations and stuff. You guys have to look for it. Uh, sometimes uh, it's in an interesting place like here, right on the side. So we know it has worked properly. And those, if you have FR fuel, just throw that configure file in there and you're good to go as well. Um, so hopefully this did help you out and let you install a more realistic type fuel system to your server. Um, if you have questions or anything else, leave them on the thread uh, or the comments below and I will be happy to answer what I can't answer and then the author can answer anything else. Um, sorry about the short video today. I actually have a interview work thing in like half 10 minutes, so I gotta go deal with that. Um, so I had to get the video out for tomorrow though, so thank you for tuning in. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. If you want to help us out, click the join button. I'll see you in tomorrow or two days from now for the next video and I promise it will hopefully will be longer than this.